pursuit. In this season, you're not sitting waiting on somebody to bless you. You're in hot pursuit of somebody finding you. That my name will ring in the prophetic atmospheres. That intercessors and those who go in the realm of the spirit will pick up my name. And checks are being written in my name now. In this phenomenal faith to this phenomenal people will cause phenomenal results tell your neighbor you're phenomenal you're phenomenal just go ahead and prophesy to them say you're phenomenal the dream and the visions that you are having is phenomenal the faith that you have you gotta call those things that be not as though they are no no you're not hearing me tell somebody on the other side especially on your row because you've got everybody on my row is phenomenal we got phenomenal faith and we got phenomenal results we got phenomenal faith yep that you may be able to apprehend it not only run after it but you're able to grasp it I don't care how phenomenal crazy it looks I believe that God is about to show up and show out He says that, that you may be able to grasp with all saints. God's devoted people, the ex- experience of that love, that what is the breath, length, depth, height, and the depth of it. Come on, let's keep reading. That you may know the love of God. That you may know the love of God, which passive all knowledge. That you may be feel. Here it goes. That you may be feel the phenomenalness of your... I just made a word up. The... The fullness of the Godhead bodily dwells on the... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, let's, let's just think about this for a minute. Come on. He says that with all the fullness of God. Holy filled and flooded with God himself. Wait a minute here. That all of the fullness of God. Wait a minute. Are y'all reading that? (laughs) The fullness of God may have the richest measure of his divine presence. And become a a body holy, filled, and flooded with God himself. Well, wait, 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 wait. He said, look, I pray, I'm praying, I'm praying that you get strength in your inner man. I'm praying that you get the revelation that God is on the inside of you. I am praying that you understand that it's not about you, but it's about God working through you to do mighty exploits in the earth. It's not about what you didn't get yesterday and what happened to you, come on, a year ago, but how is God going to manifest through you today? And what's about to pop off in you and through you today all of God himself wait 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 you done gone too far Nesbitt all of the fullness of God can you imagine that it takes a phenomenal mind to even think in the paradigm That God lives in us. Go to John 12. I hear you. I'm almost through. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can I just preach out of my belly? John 14. John 14. John 14. Look at verse 10. Verse 9. Because I want to raise... A generation who not only know that God lives in them, but they are producers of God. Come on, this is a different kind of ministry. We're not jumping and jerking for nothing. We're jerking because God lives in us. 
that every day of our lives, something supernatural pops off. Look what he says in verse 9. He says, but Jesus said unto them, have I been with you so long time with you? Uh, and yet, and yet have thou not known me, Philip? He that have seen me have seen the Father. That's uh, my God. He that have seen me have seen the Father. Wait a minute, Ness, but I know where you're trying to go. He that have seen me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's Jesus. Yes, it is. Jesus is our elder brother. And the Bible says that God is no respecter of persons. Tell your neighbor, when you see me, you have seen the Father. And how do you say, show me the Father? How do you say, I want to see God? Believe that not that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Don't you believe that the Father is in me and I am in the Father? I don't like this kind of preaching here. The words that I speak unto you, I'm not, I speak not of myself, but the Father, the Father, the Father, the Father, the Father. Not my words, not my works. The Father that dwelleth in me. He, He doeth the works. It's not your righteousness, it's His righteousness. It's not your holiness, it's His holiness. It is not your wealth, it's His wealth. It's not your goodness. It is his goodness. That's why I can praise him. Because without him I'm nothing. I'm a nobody. It's not predicated on what I did yesterday. Or what I didn't do. He gives me new mercies every morning. Now unto him. Who is able. To keep me from falling. And to present me faultless. I said now unto him who is able to keep me from falling and to present me faultless so when he sees me he sees me faultless he kept me that's why I praise him because he kept me from falling he kept me from messing up and even in my frailties and my, my inconsistencies God the God on the inside of me stands up to strengthen my inner man to overcome everything that the enemy tries to throw at me he is in me and I am in him but he do if can I tell you if you yield God will praise himself through you if you yield he'll worship himself through you if you yield he'll give to himself through you Y'all ain't ready for this. Look what he says. Believe me that I am in the Father. Verse 11, and the Father is me, in me. Or else believe me for the what? The very work's sake. He said, if you don't really believe me, if you don't really believe the Father is in me, watch me how I work. Watch me how I work. Watch me how I operate. Watch me what I say. Watch me. What? If you don't believe that the Father's li living in me, just watch me. Tell your neighbor, watch me. I'm going to change right before your eyes. Something is about to shift in a moment. I got so much of God on the inside of me. Come on, my face might change. You might be like Moses that you get in the presence of God and that your facial features begin to change. Tell your neighbor, there's a God in me. 
I wish that phenomenal people with phenomenal faith would understand that a phenomenal God lives on the inside of them. Verse 12 says, Verily, verily, truly, truly, or most surely, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, Jesus is saying, and you shall do what? You shall do also, and greater works, and greater. Watch me. Watch me work it. What's the song, Watch Me Whip? What, what's the song, Watch Me Do the Nay Nay? What's the song, how is it? What, y'all laughing at me? I don't know. I don't know. What did it say? Let me whip. Watch me what? Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Watch me whip God. Watch me lemon kusabanganda. Watch me whip God. Watch me. Watch me. What? Come on. Watch me whip. Watch. Watch me whip the devil. Watch, watch me. Watch. Y'all ain't hearing me. You can whip and nay nay for the world, but you can't whip and nay nay for God. Watch me. Tell three people, watch me whip it. Watch me work it. Watch me produce it. Watch me operate in it. Watch me. Something is about to happen. Watch me. Bible says in Acts 3, at the hour of prayer, Paul and Silas is going, Peter is going up to the place to pray. Thank you for watching today's program. For more information regarding our ministry, you can visit us online at www.dominionworld.org or call us toll free at 866-579-5807. If this program has ministered to your life, please consider sowing a generous seed. You may make your check payable to DWOM and mail to P.O. Box 41, Marion, Arkansas. 72364 Dr. Sharon R. Nesbitt and the Dominion World Partners would like to thank you for your continued love and financial support. Because of you, we are reaching the nations, unveiling the purposes of God, and declaring the gospel of the kingdom.